Well, I'd say the number one material we receive is fabric. Fabric of all kinds. Lots of interesting plastic doodads from electronics shops and uh, medical supply places. Bike parts, we get wood pieces. It's, it's all over the map. And then we'll get like used cards and calendars and you know household items as well. I mean, things that people have in their home that once they're no longer useful to them, can be then reused in some, you know, fun art, arts or crafty way. We receive donations from individuals, businesses, artists and teachers, and things that are no longer useful to them, then we sort them and organize them here in our store, and then we make them available for purchase at really low cost. Or we give them away to educators through our teacher resource room, and we also will donate them to schools and youth organizations who need them for arts activities or arts programming. Part of our location now is not just a store but also a studio where we hold art workshops for adults and youth. And then the studio is also open whenever we're open, it's open to the public. And so people can come and use all of the tools and equipment in there for um, a donation.